I'm ready, man. You state your name, gangster. You already know what it is, man. Back in the smirk, man. I see the little top gunner was popping. Southside, Queens, Trinidad. What it is? <laughs> What's good, my nigga? I got a few questions I uh, want to run by you and shit. We're going to reach out oh, a man. Shout out to Gully TV. You already know what it is, right? I'm just happy to be here still. Right. You know what I mean? All my homies dead on jail. You know what I mean? So it's like, black and that's the stuff that we really need. Right. You know what I mean? Shout out to Gully TV, man. No doubt. No doubt. How's everything going over there with uh, Feed the Wolves over there in Trinidad? Oh, man. It's doing great, man. Feed the Wolves is, is, is worldwide. But it's all over from the UK. Shout out to my artists out there. The thing is, Vincent. Shout out to my team, Vincent. See the world. You know, Queens having free domination. Domination upstate right now? Yeah, he upstate, man. He got sentenced to 18 years. Damn. I'm already working on his appeal, so God bless. He's got to go with that. So, right. He's a good spirit, so I speak to him on the way he does. Okay. I, um. You know, I got some access to you and shit. I got a few questions I want to run by you. There's a whole lot going on over there in Queens. What's your shine in a little low, homie? Say that again. I said, uh, I got a few questions I want to run by you. It's a whole lot going on back back over there on the south side of Queens where you from. Yeah, whatever's whatever, man. We getting it in, man. South side, man. Where did the, uh, where did, where, uh, Give me some a, some a little background history on your relationship with Fifty Cent. Where did the G U G Unit brand come from, and at what point did you appear? Uh, what, what you say, homie? The round table. It started from like it, it started in the street first because you needed a team. He had drama with the Moheads, so he needed a team. He ain't really trust the old heads, cause he, he, he figured the ball is scared of praying with them niggas, you know what I mean? So they, they kind of left him for dead, what he did. Okay. Hello? We lost the call. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, uh, wait till we call back in. Okay, okay. You still here? You 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 blacked out for a minute and shit. Alright, cause okay. I'm on this magic jack, so it's gonna be breaking like that. That's how these shit fit is, you know? Okay. You said um you well, I got cut off that though. Uh the part you said you you pretty much said that fifty had, you know, he had a well publicized beef back in the day with some gangsters. Yeah, yeah, serious OG from the hood. Serious OG, you know. Right. So the G G the gorilla unit was formulated to basically hold fifty down when he had them issues, is that where it came yeah. from? You said it was in the, it was in the streets before music, right? Yes, yes. Because remember, we had to grind before we actually get the got the deal. You know what I mean? So we had to keep the rules up off. Right. You know what I mean? So that's how that formulated it started. Root boy, rest in peace. El Dorado, he just came home, and, and me. You know what I mean? We was all at the round table and it, 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 it formulated. We came up with the name and it, it, it so, and looked at it now. So that was the original, the original G unit. Name, name the original G unit before, before rap. Fifty, El Dorado, Bag of Smurf, and Root Boy. Okay, no doubt. You know what I mean? And Banks, Banks, and yeah, you always call them earners. Like they was just the earners to them. Okay. At the end of the day, yeah. Um. At what, at, what, at what point did, did, did Trav and, 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 and Winslow show up? Because we're going to talk about that. They, they came up after, after we got the deal. Right. Were you still over here in America? Was you still in the United States when, when they came on the scene? Oh. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Trav, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm going to get into Trav and Winslow, right? Uh-huh. Winslow, right? He came around after we got the deal because they were some shady though. I had a homie Ace from Shadyville, and I know Shy Money was from Shadyville, so I, I, I wanted them to come on because I liked it, Ace, because he got busy. He's a nigga I knew from way back in the days. We we done had beef with Shadyville, like back in the days we used to rumble, you know what I mean? We, we came together. It was, it was a big Queens thing, but I always fucked with them heads that nigga since I was a younger nigga. So okay. I was always out there. The whole Queens no bang. Okay. I, mean, I, I knew homie Ace from Shadyville, so I accepted Ace and them. 
So I told Sean Money, bring Ace and I'm alone, man, as well. So let's link up, make this dream and this shit even stronger. And then, and then he brought Winslow along, so that's how I actually made no Winslow. Okay, so. My only Ace. Yeah. Okay. Ace and all that. But they came in after the day. So what were they like? Trap, Trap, Trap has always been around. He was a little brother, all been around too. It was from day one to two. He's who, little brother? Yeah, yeah. So Hope was always a Hope from back in the days. We actually put some work in the go back in the days with, with, with um, um, that's homies, because that's where they from, American Linden and all that. So I've been around for a minute, but he was actually younger. He was a young kid back then, so when I left, I guess Hope brought him along. So, you know, he, he got grown. He's doing his thing. I got, I got enough for everybody to get money. Me and me and homie never had his. He out here doing his thing and getting money. So shout out to the young boy Trap. Yeah, young boy getting money. I can't hate on that. I'm not no hater. I'm just a real nigga. Right. You know I mean? Me and him never had no issues. He respect me and, and I respect that. So, you know, I respect the young boy getting his money. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Actually, when I joined the Trap, they didn't have no issues. 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 Okay. So, uh... You know, Trav and Winslow, they basically came on the scene as, like, soldiers. Everybody comes yeah. on the scene that way, though. Everybody came in as soldiers at the end of the day because you, you could have never got to speak to 50. You got to, back then, you had to go for me to even get to them. Like, so all the homies had to talk to me. They, they wasn't even talking directly to 50. Okay. Uh, what you think about, what's your, what's your take on the, the opinion of uh, what happened at Summer Jam and everything? He shouldn't have been up there. No, no, he shouldn't have been on stage. Why did you? Why do you? And I love Winslow. I had a lot of love for Winslow until he 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 embarrassed himself like that. He lost a lot of strength. I mean, because at the end of the day, you know the situation. He knew what was going on. The tension between different crews and circles he'd be around, and he know the kind of character Fifty is. So for you to even be on that stage, you played yourself. Right. I guess, you don't think, I guess you don't know 50 that good as of yet, man. You don't do shit like that. So, uh, so, so, so 50, he don't, he don't play that, that two-faced shit. Nah, nah, just like any, any, any street nigga or, or general or boss with him. If you with me, you with me, you can't be with me, then you, I don't fuck with these niggas and you around these niggas, then you coming around me. Nah, that don't work like that. Right. That, that, that's kind of... We from the streets, street, homie, that's... Rules and principles. That's regular shit, yeah. Yeah, that's regular shit you're supposed to do. But a lot of these niggas ain't real niggas, so they wouldn't know these things, you know what I mean? Right. And, and, and Winslow, and Winslow proof he wasn't a real nigga. When he went on stage and after niggas took his check, he pulled his pants off and ran off the stage. You know what I mean? Any one of my niggas would have been the motor who can't even come around me no more if you're supposed to be a real nigga. Oh, I fuck with a nigga. I don't accept shit like that. At least take your ass up and try to get your shit back. Right. I don't mean, like, it's crazy, you know? So, and it's, it's, it, it's, 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 it's then turned into a, a, a lawsuit, I think, now. And, and then you do that. Like, he's a bird. Like, that's all I can say. He showed his true colors and he was a bitch. The whole time. Basically. Well, that's, that's that. The streets, we don't do shit like that. Real G's don't handle shit in the courtroom. Like, what are you going in the courtroom for? You got to press charges on this nigga. Just oh, man, like, come on. So, like, you can't do that. And the nigga who, and the nigga who took his chain got locked up. for the charge for that. No, I mean, certain shit you just can't do, dog. And that, that's not acceptable in the street. Yeah. 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 Prior prior to that, did you fuck with the with the slow bucks brand? The the, the clothing line was yeah. it was hot. I was fucking yeah, with it myself. I supported it when, so I support any young boy getting money. You know, young black man from the ghetto getting money, I support you. Know what I mean? I respect you. Know what I mean? And I did it till I seen what happened. Right. Like even if you would have got people they took your train cool, but it's just what he did after. You understand what I'm saying? Did you know Maserati Fox, Smurf? We never crossed path. I know who he is, he know who I am, but we never crossed path. We never met. Never met him. He's an old time. Nah, he's an old timer from Queen. 
don't know. We probably crossed paths back in the days, like been in clubs or whatever. I don't know. Like, but I don't. Me and them ain't no friends. We don't know each other, bro. Right. Okay. Um. What do you think about the G Unit reunion, my nigga? Do you think the Summer Jam incident? Do you think that would that would that would, that, that that was like a catalyst for the whole situation? That 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 the the G Unit reunion that's kind of like corny to me. Yeah. At the end of the day, that 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 that's lame to me. To keep it real, because you want to expose your artists, disrespect them. You know what I mean? Especially the situation with Buck then with Yale, you know what I mean, and Banks, and then you, they all come together in one room. Like, I can't respect that, but if they got to get their money, get paid, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, but it's fake. That shit ain't real. Oh, you, a man, a nigga that, that disrespect you like that, you can't feel comfortable around. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know how much money involved. Like, I don't even, like, I walked away from millions in that gym situation. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, niggas got it twisted. Like, 50 made me sign up for company. I told them niggas taking the blood. I'm going to kill ya. You know what I mean? Because them niggas left me, them niggas left me in jail and they wanted to have a problem. Right. That's what a lot of people, a lot of people got it confused. They thought I was calling 50 for his money. I grossed over a million and change in the company me and 50 had to go. So I'm calling them for them niggas to send me my money. So they left me in jail. Right. And they ain't sending me my money. Only sent my mom's my money. But at the end of the day, man, my mother was so as a man, I was supposed to feel as a real nigga. You don't do scary shit like that, a real nigga. You know what I mean? So I came home, told them niggas, I feel niggas anyway, I'm a rob, y'all. Y'all can keep that money, take it in blood. Right. And, and, the, and the only reason, and actually the only reason I really did went to the lawyer's office and signed off, I thought 50 would have been me. Because the conversation we was having, like, come check me, nigga, it is what it is. I'm, I'm thinking he gonna be in the office as well. Right. He ain't show up. Know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I ain't here. It's not like he forced me when he was there. I just went there, sign up, tell that nigga I'm gonna kill him. Told Dio that. Know what I mean? I got 15,000 and then walked off. Nigga, fuck. You told him you was gonna kill him? Yeah. All of them. Rob them all. Like, you don't do like that to me. I put my ass on the line for y'all. You don't leave me. You know? So you never ever. You ne from the fallout back in the day, it's probably been like seven, eight, seven years or something like that. You never ever fucked yeah, with them? 11 years, 10 years. It's been 10 years? Yeah. And you never fucked with none of them again? Nah. Never. Mm. Shit got real. Like, like, niggas don't even know how deep this shit is. But I'm not like him. I won't come out and say certain shit, dude. I'm a real street thing, but this shit got too real and too deep for us to ever be. Right. Do you think, um... I, I never really heard him say anything like overtly disrespectful about Lloyd Banks aside from like his work ethic and shit like that. I mean, it is a business. Do you think he the he, his position as boss it, it it puts him in a situation where he have to come at his artist like that? Uh, not really, because a lot of artists and, and executives go through and shit. Okay. Were you in the city? Um, did you did you know e, e money bags, Smurf? <laughs> yeah, everybody know e money bags.